Hey YouTube, what's going on? I'm super excited for this video as you can tell because we're talking about products and absorption and all this amazing things. Now I feel like there is a misconception that if a product does not penetrate into the hair or absorb into the hair, technically it's not a good product. That is true. But then it's not true, it's 50-50 because here's what's happening, I'm gonna give you guys a little secret, okay? So when it comes to a hair care formulation, a hair care product, it's either gonna do two things. It's either going to absorb into the hair or it's going to adsorb into the hair. Absorb is when a product absorbs into the hair, penetrates into the hair, right? And then adsorb is when a product just stays on the surface of the hair, like the cuticle, and it just stays there and it does not penetrate. Now, between the two, there are benefits. Of course, with absorption, if you're trying to strengthen your hair, you know, or get more moisture into your hair, you know, those are gonna be ideal for working from the inside out. Now on the adsorption, if you're trying to have better manageability or more slip, you're gonna want something to kind of coat the cuticle. So when you're combing your hair, it's just a breeze. Now when it comes to ingredients that absorb into the hair, very popular ones, of course, water, coconut oil, silk amino acids, hydrolyzed keratin, things like that. And then on the flip side, when it comes to adsorption, mainly a lot of oils, avocado oil, jojoba oil, dimethicone, cyclopentone, Pentaloxane, those are things that are going to just stay on the outer surface of the hair to help with combing and manageability and styling, things of that nature. So, just because a product does not absorb doesn't mean it's bad. It can actually be working on the outside and doing a great job with effectively giving you the hair that you need. And then number two, you have the lack of heat, especially if you have low porosity hair, I do to a certain extent, you know, your cuticles are closed up and you need something to kind of help your cuticles get up a little bit more. So I would say that adding heat to your treatments, your conditioners is a great, amazing idea because it's going to help that conditioner really get to the hair to really give you effective conditioning. So I would definitely invest in a hooded hair dryer or even a steamer. Those are great things that are going to help you with your conditioning experience. I would not go over 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, it's kind of overkill. The product has already done what it's going to do at that point, but definitely invest in a hooded dryer, especially if you have low porosity hair. So, and then the last thing I would say is whether you have high porosity or low porosity, a huge, huge, huge factor that can really affect not only absorption, but the way the product works on your hair, how it performs, is build up. With the whole natural hair care movement and really companies for starting to actually formulate products for us, you know, we're getting creamier things and thicker things. We're getting products with satiro alcohol and sterile alcohol and behenno alcohol and all these wonderful thickening creams which is great, however, when it comes to the hair, you know, it's easy to get that buildup, which is why you want to incorporate clarifying your hair at least once a month, maybe more depending on how your hair is, but once a month should be fine because what's gonna happen is it's going to rid all that buildup and all that gunk off of your hair. So as you continue with your hair care journey and doing your daily moisturizing and your weekly wash and goes or whatever you do, your products are going to perform a lot better because now they have a clean slate to work with. So so definitely incorporate clarifying your hair. It can be with actual shampoo, like a clarifying shampoo, or it can be apple cider vinegar, which is actually my favorite because it defines your curl, you shine, girl, it's amazing. Of course, I have a question for you. What ingredient are you super excited about? Like when you're looking for a new conditioner or shampoo and if you see this one ingredient, you're like, oh my gosh, I gotta get it. Is there an ingredient, is it an oil, is it a butter? What is it? I would love to know, comment below, and I can't wait to see your responses. So for more information on ingredients and how they work for our hair, definitely check out the Curly Girls Guide to Hair Care Ingredients. It is an ebook that will go to your email in seconds and it's amazing. It has ingredients that perform for your hair, what's really inside your shampoo, ingredients to avoid. It's amazing. So do not miss it. Any questions at all, let me know. Of course, don't forget, make sure your notifications are on and subscribe. I will see you guys soon, all right? Bye.